Hallelujah. Today, we are here for the celebration yes, sir. of George McKenzie. And as we celebrate his life today, let us praise God as though we might, and this might be our last time. Today, we give honor to my senior bishop of the House of God Church. We give honor to Bishop Mitchell, to every minister, to every to the family on today. It is a blessing that I woke up this morning. Yes, it is. It's a blessing today right mind. And oh, it's a blessing to see your faces as we go into our service on today. Let us keep a prayer in our heart for this family. And it is my prayer that something will be said about the word of God that will bring us closer to him. And as I heard the bishop praying on this morning, and I pray that the Lord will strip us of anything that is not righteous and put the robe of righteousness on us on today. Hallelujah. At this time, we have a hymn by James Smith and the invocation by Reverend Gwendolyn St. Hilaire, in that order. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sin and grief to bear. What a
from Ecclesiastes 3, verses 1 to 8. To everything there is a season, and a time to pursue every purpose under the sun. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent and a time to serve. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Let not your heart be troubled. Oh, yeah. yes. oh, no. 
He believed in God, yes. believed also in me. He said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. He said, if it were not so, I would have told you. He said, I go and prepare a place for you. He said, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Where I am that he may be also. And he said in the post verse, wherever I go, he know. And the way you know, Thomas <laughs> said unto him, Lord, we know not whether that goeth, and how can we know the way? This is Jesus telling all of us. Jesus said <laughs> unto him, I am the way. I'm watching while I pray. 
your soul. Yeah. Is anybody in here allowing the Holy Ghost to take control? Hallelujah. We are in a war.
And the thought that makes me smile now, even as the tears fall down, is that young stars in heaven are on the hands that hold now. At this time, thank you for that beautiful reading. At this time, we have a musical tribute. Hallelujah. By Candace Hampton.
reflections according to the program says two minutes. We can't tell it all today. I'm a believer that whatever you got to tell me, tell me where I can hear it. So, when you're talking, if you see me stand up, that means you sit down. Amen? Okay, refreshments. Please comply with the family request. Elder Laurie, um, the gentleman that was supposed to do uh, Great Is Thy Faithfulness, he is here, and that was a request of the wife. So can we take a few minutes and let him do a stanza of that song, her request of George's wife, Sharon? She didn't think you was here. That's why she improvised. Okay. All right. Come on, guys. Let's give Brother Smith a
when you get in the 60s, you're going to see more people. It's a fact of life. And you know what? There's every true words that you ever heard. So I just want y'all to know, thanks for being here. Thanks for showing up, everybody. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. tracing right now, but I'm going to try to do this without crying. All I hear is precious, precious. Yeah. I am going to miss my cousin, my big cousin. He always managed to make me feel special every time I heard him say, precious, precious. Yeah. Cousin, I'm going to miss you. Family, I love you. I pray that the, the special gift that he put on me that I'm able to pass it through me and to the rest of you all, to my family, to Sharon, I love you. And I just wanted to say, you know, for my cousin, to my cousin, you know, thank you for just making me feel special. I swear it contributed to my confidence. <laughs> and I just love y'all. God bless everybody. sad occasion because uh, George and I, we talk every day. And, uh, you know, George always has something crazy to say or something crazy to do. And uh, what I remember about George, when he greeted you, he didn't greet you just, hey, John. He had, he had put some emphasis on it and put some love into it. You felt the love and you felt the genuineness in him and uh, it became a norm for him to greet you in that way. He, he never did greet you in a, in a normal way. But what I do remember about George, he's, he was a, he's a good family man, and he was a good cousin, always encouraging you, always making you laugh. And I know that he loved my grandparents and his mother, and I know that he loved Sharon and his family. But uh, I'm gonna miss cousin George. My kids love Cousin George. Yeah, That's all they talk about, you know, the first time they meet him. Cousin George. Put that emphasis on Cousin George. They love him. And uh, we're going to miss him. Good job, John. Thank you, John. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. How y'all doing this morning? Yeah. I just want to, on behalf of the family, because I am family, yeah. I just want to thank you all for taking time to come and be with us as you see my brother home. I will miss him truly. I mean, we grew up together, and our fathers came to this country together. We, we, we Jews. <laughs> yes, we are. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna miss it. my brother. I mean, as kids, and nice to spend the night at you know your parents back then they ain't let you spend the night anywhere. But the Mackenzies, I can spend the night over there. You know, but you gotta get up, you gotta wake up the bed, you gotta go fishing, you gotta do chores and stuff. But George, um, he was just a great, great person. And, and we had, like, like the brother just said, when he greets you, he'd be like, <laughs> like, he, you saw me two days ago, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's the, that was love, which is what it was. It was love. And that's what his character was built on love because of the way that we was raised. I mean, me, him, nah. And uh, what is it, Ronnie Coon? Yeah, the craziest name back in the day, they called me Fat Man. Yeah. Another boy in the hood was named, uh, let me know I'm about two minutes up now, because I can go all day. Uh, Ronnie Coon, Bright Eye. 
Yeah. 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 Another guy named Akbar. Oh, yeah. So, you remember Akbar? Akbar yeah. Now, today, that I have studied, I study different religions, and I'm not a theologian or a scholar. Uh, shout out to all the bishops and stuff like that. You know, but Akbar is an Indian name, but in uh, Hebrew, they say, when the Greek is Allah Akbar, Akbar means great. That was a great man. That was a great man. I love him so much. I mean, I followed him anywhere. I followed him to an abandoned house. One night. Well, it, was a, it was abandoned, but it was a new house. She said, yeah. <laughs> you had two minutes? Yes, sir. You had two minutes? Yes, sir. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Can I have two more seconds? I just want to, I, I, I like this. Okay, two more seconds. The Alpha and Omega. We're going to say two seconds, but we'll say, go ahead on that. Oh, thank you so much. I was just saying, I like what's on here. Okay. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too. Amen. Thank you. At this time, we have our resolution. Um, Alan Chapel, African Methodist Episcopal Church, 580 George West Ingram Boulevard, Daytona Beach, Florida. Reverend Nathan M. Mugala, Pastor. Resolution of sympathy to the family of the late Mr. George McKenzie, Saturday, November 12, 2022. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you and my, with my righteous hand, Isaiah 41 and 10. Whereas the Reverend Dr. Nathan M. Mugala, Board of Stewards, Trustees, other officers and members of Allen Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Church, 580 George Ingram Boulevard, Daytona Beach, Florida, extend this resolution of sympathy to the McKenzie family as we mourn the passing of their dear loved one, Mr. George McKenzie. Whereas Mr. McKenzie's sister, Sister Tanya McKenzie, serves faithfully as a devoted member of the music ministry at Allen Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Daytona Beach, Florida. And whereas we pray for this family that God will strengthen your faith so that you may have an understanding of the love of God for his people and that you may know that earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Mr. McKenzie will be missed by those who love him and whose lives he touched. And be it resolved that we say to the family, May the Lord continue to watch over you is our prayer, and may precious memories of your loved one keep you ever on the road that leads to God. And as it is written in Paul's letter to the Corinthians, be firm in your faith, stay brave and strong, show love is ever in everything you do now. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution is given to the family and a copy retained in the church records for posterity. Humbly submitted, Reverend Nathan M. Mugala, pastor, Sister Shirley A. Bullard, church clerk. Amen. Amen. Thank you. At this time, we have a video presentation followed by acknowledgments from J.C. Board Funeral Homes Fair.
He's gone to a heavenly home, and he's closer than you know. His life on earth was very good, as earthly life could go. But paradise is so much more than anyone could know. We, the management and staff of the James C. Boyd Funeral Home, would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the family to thank each of you for coming out today. May God bless you. Now for the acknowledgement of the lovely floral arrangement. God said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. This lovely arrangement comes with prayer to the family, with deepest sympathy, love Steve Bailey. Plus Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free. Sir yet sending love to this family with deepest sympathy from Jane Smith and family. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Card reads, in love and memory to the family. For live arrangements come in love and memory from Reverend Nathan Magala, Pastor, and the Allen Chapel AME Church family. This beautiful spray comes in love and memory, the family. And for the many years they spent together, the good times, the laughter, and now the farewell, this lovely arrangement is presented on behalf of the family. We've been made and due for a night, but joy does come in the morning. Let's be the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercy, God of comfort, who comforts us in every tribulation. For we serve a risen Savior. We all too must one day go this way. For this world is not our home. And we're looking to go to a home that's not made by hands. But it is eternal in the heaven. And the maker and the builder is God. We must put our time in. For payday is coming after a while. And we want to hear him say, servant, well done. We will now have a special presentation to Mrs. McKenzie. Will you all please give her a round of to um, pass over the tapestry to my mother. Right, right. Thank you. Church. She gave us a little church earlier, so we're gonna have just a little more church.
cannot heal. I want you to understand one thing that we all did not come. None of us came to this world to stay. And death is just a gateway to eternal joy. If your business is in order. Now, I got in trouble some time ago when I began to minister at one funeral, so let me help you out real quick. There's nothing I can say to do that's going to help Brother John. And nothing I say going to hurt Brother John. Amen. 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 So I have no heaven, no no hell to put nobody in. And I tell folks, my job is to preach the word of God. And I tell them in new life, how can I straighten you out? But I'm all messed up myself. But it's my obligation to tell you what the words say. Because the Bible said in St. John 15 and 3, we are clean to the word which I have spoken unto you. Now, I tell folks, if you don't have nothing else to rejoice about, you ought to rejoice that the past two and a half, three years that while the pandemic was going on, God allowed you to stay here just a little while longer, and you ought to give him praise just for that. Come on, somebody. Now, those who've been blood washed and blood bought and know that your name has been written in the Lamb Book of Life, you got a reason to rejoice right there because that's the only reason. You can rejoice that your name is written in books. But, but everybody's name is not written in the book. In, in the book. God's children, but I beg the difference. We're not all God's children. We're his creation. But we're not his children. For the Bible declare, for in Romans chapter 8, verse 14, for as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Now the question now we have a lot of folks who don't say so. And Acts 1 and 8 said, but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost have come upon you and you shall be witnesses. So my question is, at your house, when you get through faking in church, you go to dance and all in church, but when you get home and somebody get on your nerves, what you witness say? What did your witness say when you were trying to get home from church? And somebody cut you off. What you witness say? On your job. What you witness say? What you witness say when your light bill is due and Slick Willie call you? And that ain't your will, ain't your hug. But your bill need to be paid. Watch your witness. Get it, get it, get it, and I tell them, they, you know, I'm old school, and when we got saved, I, I know they don't do it, now. I, I understand it, but I got saved calling on the name of Jesus. And, and uh, I tell them, I ain't been, I, I, I ain't been preaching that long. 
I just been trying to learn how to preach for a few days. I told them this past October the 3rd, I've been trying to learn how to preach for 40 years. And I'm still trying to learn. Yes, uh, because what I think I understood, I found that there's another revelation. And I found out that one revelation I found out, he ain't told you that if you grab hold to the gospel plot and look, now these, these 21st century millennium preachers tell you it's okay for you to go to the club. They telling you can do whatever you want to do and still be saved, ah, yeah, you won't be saved, saved from something, but it won't be saved from sin. Yeah, they don't like my preaching, but they thank y'all for calling. So I don't ask nobody to preach, but thank you for thinking of me. But I want you to understand that I love you enough that I cannot tickle your ear and let you go to hell. Because I tell, I know that I, we got, I know some preachers now that preaching that won't let you preach about hell in their church and they tell you that there is no hell. But I come to tell you that if you're not righteous and if you don't have the Holy Ghost, and if you haven't been saved and sanctified, then I keep telling them that if you miss heaven, you'll certainly catch hell. You ain't going to miss both of them. You ain't going to miss both of them. So my job is to compel you to get right with God. Amen. My job is to compel you that you need to turn from your wicked ways. And I'm talking to the saints now. That's right. Y'all, 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 y'all miss that one. Y'all read, y'all, y'all, y'all be so grand and great out. Uh, first chapter, I mean, Chronicles for seven and fourteen, or fourteen and seven, said the hill. And he said, yo, my people. He didn't, he didn't say the word. He said, yo, my people, which are called by. So he went talking to the world then, so so I'm gonna tell you. And the first thing he said to do with my people with the call by my name, first thing they knew is turn. Turn. From the wicked way. Some wicked folk. I, 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 let me share this with you. I'm, I'm going to get out here. I got about 10 minutes. I got to go. Uh, uh, um, I tell folk, folks are always talking about the church. Uh -huh. well, they, they, they always talking about the church. Uh -huh. I had to let them know ain't nothing wrong with the church. Uh -huh. I hear them on social media talking about church. The church ain't never hurt nobody. Yeah. 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 Now what happened is the wood brick and mortar uh -huh. is not the church. It's just a building where the church go to. Now everybody that go to the meeting place is not a part of the church. Not if they're a part of the church, then the Bible said to love and kindness. And then when we the church, the Bible said, upon this rock I build my and the gates of hell. So, so ain't nothing wrong with the church and the folk that's in the church that had to get in the church, not by shaking the preacher's hand, but they had to be born again. And he said, my I said to you, you must. 
Then we got those say, Bishop, I've been in the church when when it's get right. When I get right, I'll be back. I, I tell them if you could have got straightened out, Jesus wouldn't have had to come. Now, some of you say you're going to get right in time. Well, I ask but one question, one thing. Since you know when you're going to leave him, right. <laughs> call me two months in advance right. so I can get some insurance. Since you know when you gonna leave him. Now I got one thing I've been upset some religious folk, but y'all be alright. <laughs> now preacher get up in here on special on this occasion and say we all got to go to world agree. Nope. No, they are. We, we, we all gonna like come out here. I got news for you. All of us ain't going the way of the grave. Paul said, I'll show you a mystery. That we should not all speak. But we shall be changed. In the morning. I'm looking for the upper thing. Oh. 
Oh, 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 oh,